What's the problem between you and Fox? I don't know. They, they haven't given me a reason. They just said I'm banned. Uh, the last two weeks, they basically every night have had a report corroborating what I gave to the New York Post. Every, every time they tell you the New York Post was accurate, I was accurate because I gave the New York Post all their information. I mean, the hard drive, the hard drive went from Mac, the, the guy who, who got it from Hunter, to Bob Costello, to me, to the New York Post. And now the fake, the fake news, elements of it have acknowledged what we've known all along, that the laptop was legit, that the New York Post reporting was solid. Um, that would seem to elevate you, make you, quite frankly... I would think so. I mean, I was accused by uh, Biden uh, during the first debate with President Trump of being a Russian agent with regard to that uh, hard drive. Well, it's, <laughs> there's nothing Russian about it. It comes from Delaware. It's his hard drive. It's his computer, the hard drive of his computer. It's clear. The FBI actually confirmed that four months ago. So Politico's story is really just news to the people who refuse to accept it. But I mean, uh, also, they've never denied it's his computer, ever. I mean, all you have to do is take a look at the pictures, and you can tell it's his computer. We just saw some so, great pictures of you, by the way, back when you were a U.S. attorney. Uh, terrific photographs, and uh, there you are. Rudy, you were a great lawyer, of course, and a great uh, mayor. People forget, some of them, too many of them, what a what an effective and, and successful prosecutor you were. I want to show you the emails. I believe you've seen them. Uh, Hunter Biden, they're about Hunter Biden between two Democratic donors. Here's the situation before we look at the email. Uh, Libya, involved in a civil war, $30 billion in assets, I believe, were frozen in U.S. banks. And it looked like they were talking about Hunter coming to the rescue to unfreeze these assets. And here's the email exchange. Again, this is about Hunter. Put him up on the screen if you don't mind. Number one, per our phone conversation, I met with number two's son. That's Hunter. He wants $2. That's code for $2 million per year retainer plus success fees. He wants to hire his own people. It can be close circle of people for confidentiality. His dad is deciding to run or not. Next thing, at least these guys are pretty savvy. They know who they're dealing with when it comes to Hunter Biden. All of the problems. I spoke with Hunter Biden's team yesterday. Okay, they do not want a large group involved, and they only want people with whom they have a close relationship with due to the sensitivities surrounding their involvement. And then there's another one that says uh, this guy's a drug addict, and he likes hookers, and he's uh, kind of high maintenance. As a prosecutor, what could you do with that stuff? Well, i tell you what I could do. I could put uh, Joe in jail because uh, this is a this is a tweet from uh, a text from Hunter on December 25th 2018 uh, you can't see it but what it says is for 30 years he's been giving 50 percent to his father of everything he gets I mean that I mean this has never been disputed 50 percent of what what he got for 30 years what Hunter got goes to Joe now, there's one special deal for 10 percent, but the press messes that up. They think that that's the only time Joe got money. That's not true. Every single deal, Joe gets 50 percent of the deal. He confirms this to his daughter. Plus, Hunter is take, takes care of all the expenses of the family. Now, Rudy, I mean, I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor, forgive me, but... You can say Rudy. <laughs> I, well, I... And, and by the way... Greg, that's not my words. No, well, Mr. Mayor, though, listen, I'm on board with this, and I am not doubting the veracity of your material. I see it, and I've seen it before, but I want you to put it down for a second, because those text messages, as as criminating as they are, if you were to put your prosecutor hat on, and I believe this would be possible, you'd have to get more evidence. You'd have to get uh, financial records, right? I mean, you, you'd have to get... Uh, yeah, but... And, and you could with... Mm -hmm. the, the, this is what you call an admission. I mean, this would be admissible in court. What if it's he said, Mr. Mayor, look, and I'm not playing devil's advocate. I just want to establish that we'd probably have to get something else. I mean, Hunter could say, hey, I was drunk and I was uh, drunk texting and I was boasting and all that stuff is not true. You as a prosecutor, you could have gotten the records of, of Hunter and or Joe and find out, you know, where this money was going. Right. I could. I could. And, and the records, uh, they have hidden them. It's hard to get them. And nobody's ever. And the FBI never went for them. But there's actually so many other instances like this, and there are about eight incidents like this, 
that there's enough evidence to prosecute even without the records. I mean, this is not the only situation in which money goes to Hunter, Hunter does nothing for it, and there are witnesses who say that Joe was involved. Yeah. This, is, this, like, this, this incident is completely independent of the Bobulinski incident. And by the in way— Bobulinski could testify Joe was going to get 10 percent. So now you have two in which he was getting money. I got it. And then in, in the Ukrainian situation, there are witnesses that say that Joe made the deal with Zloshevsky, and the money really was for Joe. Plus, there's $800,000 in, uh, in a money laundering situation that goes right to Joe. So uh, I, I shouldn't. I should. I shouldn't give you the impression this is the only piece of evidence of money going to Joe. No. And by the way, the, the, politically, the of this politi is Joe sir, Biden. It's not po I understand. Politically, this should be a slam dunk case. Legally, you know, it's a higher bar, and we were just talking about that. But politically, you got the goods on him. Yet he's lived to fight another day. I have to play you this from the United Nations. There's something. This is Joe Biden talking about the danger of corruption. Notice his energy level. Notice, I, I feel like it takes a crash. He's yelling at the top of the speech. <laughs> Listen to this. Corruption fuels inequality, siphons off a nation's resources, spreads across borders, and generates human suffering. It's nothing less than a national security threat in the 21st century. Around the world, we're increasingly seeing citizens demonstrate their discontent, seeing the wealthy and well-connected grow richer and richer, taking payoffs and bribes, operating above the law, while the vast majority of the people struggle to find a job. I, uh, I see a guilty man. <laughs> I see a guilty conscience. I don't know. There's something weird about that. He just described 30 years of his life. That's <laughs> right. Back, back, back when James was a little... A little uh, uh, kind of uh, trailer trash guy picking up like two, three thousand dollars for him in bribes. I mean, Joe, Joe's been doing this from the time back in Delaware. He's been a crook since then. The hard drive has a whole transaction no one's ever examined in which James gets one third of a billion dollar housing contract in Iraq when Joe blows the negotiations with Iraq. You got a pattern every time Joe becomes a point man for Obama. America gets screwed. Joe messes up the negotiation, and they pull millions of dollars out of the government. That's yeah. Iraq, yeah. Russia, China, Ukraine, uh, Romania. I missed two or three. Uh, this picture, by the way, is odd. Just went away, but there's something. I, I think it's a commercial. I think no, no father and son goes down to the art photographer and says, let's take a bunch of pictures like this. There's another picture where they're, they're kissing in a fairly inappropriate way, in my opinion. I think it's an ad for potential clients to, you know, hey, if you want to get to me, get to Hunter. Uh, it's well, a surefire. Yeah, 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 sure. Absolutely. That, that was the whole deal. Yeah. The whole deal was, I mean, Hunter, Hunter has no talent. So you're not paying Hunter for anything. So what, what are you paying him millions of dollars for? How about and this? Joe does favors for them. Joe ends up doing what they want. So you can show Joe gets the money. I mean, uh, Hunter gets the money. Hunter does nothing. Joe does. Yeah. And then you've got the admission. Mr. Mayor, you are the best. And I think you will ultimately uh, come out on top in all of this because they've been giving you a hard time for such a long time. Oh, yeah, is... yeah. There's more evidence. There's a lot more evidence. Greg. Well, we're, I... all, we're only we're only scratching the surface. You can't hide this stuff forever. And uh, you're going to you're going to come out just fine, Mr. Mayor. I'm so glad you're on this case. Rudy Giuliani, everybody. Thank you. You bet. We'll be right back. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.